Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vagai Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. Again this session we have a problem from the concept of geometry and mensuration. So let's see what question is with us. Here our question is there is a circle and given O is the center of this circle and if you see there are two points A and B on the circumference of the circle and they have joined the two points A and B and of course this line AB is going to be the chord of a circle okay so this AB is going to be the chord okay so chord AB so we got points circle O is the center and AB is a chord and they have joined OA and OB and they have formed a triangle here so this is going to be the structure what you see here in this figure fine okay and obviously we know that once you join this center with a and b that is this oa and ob they are going to be the radius of the circle and let's represent with r okay so the radius of the circle we'll just represent using the variable r okay we'll have it to be r fine yes next we'll see what are the other data given here so we are given chord AB, the length of the chord AB is equal to 24 centimeter they are given. So that is this length, AB length is going to be 24. This is given here and any other things is given. Yeah, if you see area of the triangle OAB is going to be 108 centimeter square. That is this triangle what we see here whose area is what is given and this area is given to be equal to 108 centimeter square. Now finally what we are asked to find is what is the circumference of the circle this is what we are asked to find and here we are given the options okay yes i hope the structure of this question is everything is clear to you what is given in the figure what we have in the figure what is given here in this question everything is clear to you so we are asked to find what is the circumference of the circle so let's see just see what is the circumference so circumference of a circle we very well know it it is equal to 2 pi r so that means in order to get the answer to the question we definitely need the value of this r that is this radius of the circle and here again radius of the circle we have represented as r only so we have to first of all find the value of r so we will see the possibilities how can we do that then once we get the value of r then the way of getting the answer is going to be very easy right yes so yeah coming back to this uh, diagram so we have got two informations here one is this chord length is going to be this AB length is going to be 24 and the other thing is this area of this triangle what we have formed here this is going to be 108 centimeter square okay yes fine and we all know that area of a triangle is what in general area of a triangle any triangle you can re represent using the triangle uh, using the formula area of the triangle formula a area of the triangle so it's going to be half into base into height this is what the formula we will be using yes is it or not yeah okay fine now let us see what triangle we have here in this problem here we have the triangle OAB so for this triangle OAB okay triangle OAB so if we try to use the area formula so we'll be getting half into which is half into what about base of this triangle this base is going to be AB this line AB is going to be the base is it or not so AB into what about the height height of this triangle is what so height is not mentioned here so no issues we'll just draw our own just this line to be the height of this triangle so from that vertex o i'm just dropping a perpendicular here i'm just going to drop a perpendicular here and uh, let me take that perpendicular this point to be some p okay all right so i just want to represent it very clearly so this line is going to be p yeah okay this length is 24 i'm lighting it little bit uh, below so this point i'm going to represent it as p that is this op is going to be the perpendicular that is going to uh, just uh, cut this chord ab okay fine all right so this op will become the height of this triangle okay so this is going to be the height of the triangle so obviously half into ab into op i can just represent the height measure as op okay now this is what is equal to what about the given data in the question this area of the triangle oab is what is given to be 108 right so i can replace it as 108 okay so area is equal to 108 i'm just equating it now what i can do is half into what about this uh, ab ab is what ab is going to be 24 that we have in the question so 24 into op is going to be 108 okay all right 
yeah things are fine so far and now i can easily get the value of op now is it or not op i can very easily get now so i can just bring these terms to the other side so that i'll be getting 108 into 2 by 24 so i'll be getting this is exactly 12 times and this is exactly 12 nines are 108 so 108 will be 9 times exactly that means op is equal to 9 i can easily get this measure this height measure to be equal to 9 simple very simple right so we got the value of op now and now still we are yet to find the value of r that is what our plan right so how to find the value of r this is what we have to plan now now the thing is going to be again very simple now see this triangle basically this triangle oab is a what type of triangle this is an isosceles triangle is it or not so what do you mean isosceles triangle an isosceles triangle is one where two of its sides are equal is it or not so here again oa and ob they both are equal right those two uh, sides being the radius of the circle definitely they both are equal so in this case this triangle oab is definitely an isosceles triangle so what happens in isosceles triangle is definitely when we try to drop a height between these two equal sides when we try to drop a perpendicular height that perpendicular height will divide the base into exactly two parts that is this height will bisect your base so in that case i can have this ab entire ab this length 24 will be split as 12 and 12 we can easily we can just come out it come out of it okay we can just get it out it out here so this total 24 is there since we are just getting the property like that height will bisect your base into two half two halves it will be like 12 and 12 on either sides now the task the the way of getting the value of radius is going to be very easy why because once you have dropped this height what happens we'll be able to form a right angle triangle two right angle triangles are formed okay and in either way if you see the hypotenuse of the triangle formed are going to be the radius right okay so now i can what do i can uh, do is let me take the triangle opb triangle opb if you see this is going to be a right angle triangle sure right so in this case opb is a right angle triangle we can very well use pythagoras theorem so when we use pythagoras theorem we'll be getting r square is equal to 9 square plus 12 square is it or not because r square is the hypotenuse r is the hypotenuse and the other two sides are this 9 and this 12 i can use pythagoras theorem so i'll be getting r square is equal to 81 plus 144 so that gives r square equal to 225 i can add these two values 225 i'll be getting so r square is 225 that means r will be square root of 225 what is square root of 225 it will be 15 right why because 15 square is 225 so r will be 15 so successfully we got the value of r also so r is equal to 15 15 centimeter to be precise it's going to be 15 centimeter so successfully we got the value of r i hope what plan is made so far okay so from the given triangle we are getting the uh, triangles area to be 108 that is given in the question from that data we are developing it first we are finding this perpendicular and with this perpendicular height and this base we are getting the missing radius that is this hypotenuse we are finding using pythagoras theorem and we are finally getting the value of r to be 15 centimeter we got it but finally what is asked in the question we are asked to find what is the circumference of the circle circumference of the circle is going to be equal to so let me write it clearly so circumference is equal to what is circumference 2 pi r is the circumference right so 2 into pi into r which is 15 just now we got it so this would give us 2 into 15 is 30 so 30 pi centimeter is going to be the answer for this question so our answer to this question is going to be 30 pi and that is already available at option a so option a 30 pi is going to be the answer for this question yes okay i hope it is clear to you so you can just see the steps so what all the things done here is as i told the triangles thing is taken here area is here we are first finding the hyper uh, the, uh, the perpendicular height so from there we are finding the missing hypotenuse that is what is radius and once we got the radius we can easily tell what is the circumference of the circle okay yes so this is how we'll be given questions with multiple concepts okay a triangle will be there a square will be there whatever whatever it is so they'll be given in another shape like the circle so we'll have to relate it take it accordingly we have to compare it and then we'll have to work the problem to get the answer so we should be very clear with all those basics so once we are strong with the basics only we'll be able to solve these kind of problems so this is just going to be a very basic problem only. it's not at all going to be a very tough problem it's a very basic problem only so just for a case i want to show you i worked out this problem yes okay i hope it is clear to you and as usual any doubts you can post it in the comment box and if you feel that this session is useful for you please give a like and if you feel that this will be useful for any of your friends 
do please share this video to your friends also and please subscribe to our channel again in the next session we'll catch up with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much